Greetings to you all from Lloyd Doll House. Today we are going to work on adding some focal point and ornament to the ceiling of this master bedroom. I have this handmade paper. I'm going to try to keep it very simple. The master bedroom will not be as ostentatious as the living room because very few people would see it. And this card paper, I used one sheet and I had it sitting there for a long time. So I think this one is a good candidate. Let's see. And so is this one. Another idea would be to use cardboard from egg boxes. So I'm going to cut a couple of strips. This is the envelope that goes into my die cutter, so they cannot be wider than this. I'm going to be using my diamond press die cutter. This is what I have. And now I'll do the same thing. And I actually could have done this in one pass by putting the, the two dies together. I want to be able, I want to make sure that it's centered. My pieces of paper are now ready. So this is the one that I will go, this will be the base. And I'd like to cut a perforation in the center. Though my hole puncher is not long enough to go all the way to the center, I'm going to cut a half of a hole. And then, same perforation on this piece. There's a reason why I'm doing this. We have to start thinking about the future. And at one point, I may or may not want to add a light fixture. I have table lamps for the bedroom, but the light is not very strong. So I may decide to put a, something hanging from the, a pendant, something hanging from the ceiling. Okay. So, okay, so now I'm going to brush this mud podge to the paper. I'm going to cover the entire surface. Remember, this is supposed to look like plaster. So that's why the egg cartons are perfect candidate for this kind of project because they already look like plaster. They would need to be painted over. But since I have this paper and I want to use the things that I have, as you already know, if you have watched any of our previous videos, you know that we always 
upcycling or recycling materials. Okay, and this also will happen. Well, now it's perfect timing to glue this piece right here. And this is acting as glue as well as paint. Okay, and now I have to remove this from this cardboard because I don't want it sticking to it. <laughs> I want it to dry, but I don't want it stuck to this to this cardboard. Okay, now. Well, since I already have it here, let me move it to another part that doesn't have glue. And I can also add this other frame to the, well, it's not really a medallion. Some people call it rose, rose, rosette. And it's not going to be very noticeable because the color of the piece is very similar to the color of the ceiling. Um, we just don't want it to be plain, but we don't really want it to stand out too much. I believe that the focal point in the bedroom should be the bed. Okay, little pieces of paper. Move aside. And then this frame, I am cutting on the diagonal. This is what I'm talking about planning for the future. I have a magnet here. This came from a jewelry class. They are so strong that I keep them separate with this little piece of plastic because it would be difficult to separate them. So in the future, I may or may not want to add some light fixture, but if I do, I want to be ready. So I'm going to put this guy right here and it's so little and so flat that it's perfect for the thickness of this focal piece in the past when i worked on the ornament for the ceiling i actually moved all of the furniture out of the house and turned it upside down but I don't think it's necessary. I couldn't justify it because this project is, as you can see, very simple, very quick. And now I'll go and apply it onto the, apply it directly onto the ceiling.
Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it to the center of the room. Okay. This ornament is very subtle. It's not too noticeable, but it is there, and it looks beautiful. It looks like if it was made out of plaster. And now we can continue with the next step. We invite you to join us, and thank you so much for watching from Lloyd House.